everyone, buenos dias and thank you for choosing to watch another instalment from my YouTube channel here at Benidorm and Beyond. I produce positive, original and informative videos on a weekly basis about Benidorm where I have lived for many years. So if you enjoy this vlog, please consider becoming a subscriber so you'll never miss any of my brand new content as I upload it in the future. Today I'm taking you along Calle de Manila in the Rincón de Loix area of Benidorm, which is just off the beachfront at the very far Rincón end. Known locally as Knackers Hill, as many hills are in Benidorm due to the often hilly nature of the town, this long hill has quite a steep gradient, so I imagine it's not suitable for those with mobility problems or bad knee joints. We start our walk at the very top of the hill, at the corner junction with Calle de Bon, where on our right hand side we see the four star hotel, the Magic Rock Aqua Gardens, previously known as the Tropicana Gardens, this unusually shaped hotel was built in 1972 and then renovated in 2012, and now has 267 rooms over its 12 floors which all overlook the pool, although it must be noted they do not have balconies. Inspired by the continent of Africa, the hotel has an ethnic jungle theme running throughout the whole complex. And everything is geared towards this theme, from the bedrooms to the common area furniture and the many palm trees, rocks, caves, waterfalls and statues which are dotted around the whole resort. There is a large swimming pool area which includes the African Emotion Water Park which offers such watery delights as the Aqua Tube, the Aqua Splash and the Kamikaze Slides as well as a separate children's pool and play area. There is also a fantastic swim up bar with a giant LED screen over the pool showing live sports and music videos. Jet 2, Tui, First Choice and Thompson offer package holidays to this family friendly hotel or you can book via the usual online booking sites such as on the beach, sunshine.uk or booking.com and of course directly with the hotel itself. The Magic Aqua Rock is currently ranked 30th out of 196 hotels in Benidorm on TripAdvisor UK and has a guest rating of 4 out of 5 putting it in the very good category. If you'd like to support my channel and future vlogs by making a small donation, you can now buy me a coffee, or even two or three. Just click on the down arrow next to the vlog title which brings you to the description of this video. Then follow the link provided at the bottom, it's really that simple. Thank you so much. Back to Cayo Manila now and we start our descent down this steep hill. On my left hand side are large private parking areas for residents and guests of the Las Carabellas apartment complex which stretch at least halfway down this side of the street. On our right hand side and panning upwards we can see the balconies of the three star Hotel Mont Park. Built in 1975 it has 147 rooms over its seven floors and was renovated in 1998. Its well kept gardens are planted with flowers and a whole host of palm trees which gives a good first impression of this modest hotel which is very popular with Spanish holiday makers in particular. The swimming pool is to be found at the very front of the property, complete with its solarium area with sun lounges and straw parasols, and the cafe bar which you can find inside also has a lovely outside terrace where you can enjoy the views and the sunshine or the comfort of the shade if you prefer. The hotel is currently ranked 104th out of 196 hotels in Benidorm on TripAdvisor and has a guest rating of 3.5 out of 5, putting it in the very good category. I've previously uploaded full information vlogs on both of the hotels you have seen today, giving you a detailed look inside and out, and should you wish to look these up, just search the name of the hotel that you are interested in, followed by the words fly on the wall look and all the details will be at your fingertips. 
If you'd like to support my channel and future vlogs by making a small donation, you can now buy me a coffee, or even two or three. Just click on the down arrow next to the vlog title which brings you to the description of this video. Then follow the link provided at the bottom, it's really that simple. Thank you so much. On our left we are passing the Las Carabellas complex which I mentioned earlier and this literally translates as the Caravels and Caravels were small fast Spanish sailing ships used in the 15th, 16th and 17th centuries so now you know. The large gated compound consists of three separate apartment blocks starting with Carabellas 3 as you walk downhill which has 57 apartments then Carabellas 2 which has the same amount of accommodation and finally Carabellas 1 which is slightly larger with 70 apartments. Popular with the British for long-term stays as well as shorter holidays, the main entrance to the complex is just off the seafront and on the flat, therefore making it ideal for wheelchair access and the less mobile, but all blocks can also be entered via the gates on this hill. Back on the right-hand side again, we now approach a series of small shops and businesses. These start with the low-cost La Bandaria, or Laundrette, which has an ATM outside its premises facing the street, but please avoid using this if you can, and stick to the machines owned by the Spanish banks themselves for better exchange rates and lesser transaction fees. The Laundrette itself was a bar for many years, and I personally remember it being the Pig and Whistle many moons ago, and more recently, Bar One, amongst others. Carrying on, next door we come to local chemist's Farmacia Cristina Blay Pascual, whose opening hours are Mondays to Saturdays from 9.30am to 2.30pm and then from 4pm until 9 in the evening. Continuing along is Herbolario La Ventana Natural, which is a health and herbalist shop and immediately recognised by its green and white signage. Open Mondays to Fridays from 10.20am, for some bizarre reason, to 2pm and then 5 until 9pm in the evening, it has a good range of vegan and health products available, including a large selection of delicious local honeys. Adjacent underneath residential apartment block Edificio El Rincón is a branch of Subway to offer tasty and healthy wraps, baguettes and salads. And on the other side of the street is the arguably less healthy fast food outlet of Burger King who offer indoor dining as well as a large outdoor terrace where you can just get a sea view if you take the right seat. I hope that you've enjoyed this sunny and slightly breezy stroll along Quai de Manila with me today and if you did please check out some of my other vlogs which cover a huge variety of different subjects including more street and beachfront walks, reviews on hotels, cafes and bars as well as lots of news and updates on things that are happening here in the resort. I'll see you out and about next time and thanks so much for watching as always. Every view and comment counts and is much appreciated. Bye for now. Hasta luego and see you soon. Cheers.